Hello Virgo, welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I hope you all are doing well. This is your weekly reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Virgo signs. Let's begin by pulling some animal medicine cards up for you, my dear. Later on, I will be pulling one card from the Quantum Oracle deck just to get an overall advice. Please keep in mind that the messages here are general. It may also be vice versa, especially for cross watchers. For your reference, Virgo, over here would be your energy and over here would be the person or situation that you might be dealing with. So with that said, let's begin. Animal medicine, please, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this week, please. Alright, let's see. You have the camel. So the upright triangle is the chemical symbol for fire. You might be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? But the camel talks about endurance, the ability to withstand long journey. This could be physical journey or emotional journey. Whatever it is that you're going through right now, you will overcome it, okay? You have the resources that you need to sustain you in this very difficult journey that you are in. For some of you, this could be accomplishing rather a difficult task to which you have to depend on yourself, depend on your resources over here. But the camel has a very gentle and calm nature. The ability to sustain oneself in very, maybe hectic or stressful, something that is causing you pressure right now. Let's see, let's get one more card over here. We have the zebra. Interesting. So again, another fire energy. So the zebra to me talks about, this could be a situation, this could be a person or maybe even a group of people where you could have felt like you wanted to blend in, you wanted to mingle, you wanted to belong in this community relationship or with somebody. But the more that you force the situation, the, for, the more that you allow yourself to include it in this community, the more that you just are finding that you're not meant to stay here anymore. Because this, to me, the zebra tells me that you've recognized people's patterns or somebody's patterns, perhaps. And this could have indicated some red flags. Okay, this is the zebra energy. So I've also drawn to the third eye over here opening. You might be dealing with a very spiritual person or they're trying to suppress their spiritual side in order to blend in as well. For some reason, I'm getting that some of you, this could be you. You might be the zebra, okay? You might be the zebra over here. And you're dealing with a camel. Somebody that could be in a spiritual journey, being away, could be their lifestyle or their work includes traveling. So this week, it's safe to say that you guys are not physically in touch or not communicating at this time, but spiritually connected, okay? If you're the zebra in this connection here, Virgo, um, you are beginning to recognize somebody's patterns, how they come and they go, how maybe um, certain things should be done in a certain type of way and you feel like the moment you don't blend in the moment that you don't do what is expected of you somebody just pulls back or pulls away here okay so with a zebra your intuition okay this talks about the bro brow chakra the third eye your intuition your extra sensory perception has given you the ability to connect with the spiritual realm you are now bringing the gifts of intuition, inspiration, and just the ability to understand something without being told. This is you maybe allowing yourself to understand somebody's behavior, patterns, and tendencies, okay? And you're seeing things rather in a logical perspective, okay? No longer are you seeing it black and white, though. It's not about absolute. You feel like this person can still change. Um, but on a deeper spiritual level, you have this sort of um, understanding you're trying to break down someone's behavior okay this could be associate associated with psychology as well your sense of understanding others and yourselves um, this is ruled with emotional intel intelligence and maturity so with that said this is, this is kicking in because i kind of feel like you don't want to over assume what the situation is or what this person is you are not somebody that judges others and that is a good thing, but you're also here trying to interpret someone's behavior, okay, so that you can see the truth behind the lies, you can see what's real, okay, behind um, the confusion, if they've been pulling back, if they've been a little bit distant, isolated, withdrawn, okay, whatever case that may be. 
so that you will find the truth and clarity that you need okay and in turn this can heal you right this can heal you for some of you if this is not a romantic partnership then this might just be any group situation organized institution where you feel like you can no longer blend in you can no longer accept their uh, principles what they stand for or certain rules that they have laid down because with a zebra you are you're a free spirit virgo you do what is expected of you but at some point you know there are certain lines that you don't want to cross especially if you're beginning to see some red flags and your intuitive abilities have allowed you to learn from who you're dealing with okay their tendencies and so now you're here trying to maybe maneuver your way towards taking the right course of action okay how do you get rid of this situation how you how do you solve this situation how do you get yourself outside or out of the situation okay now i'm also getting a different narrative but i'm gonna get more cards out um why is this camel card over here please we have the elephant interesting again fire energy okay it's a very intense situation some of you there could have been some conflict okay that has blown out of proportion that ha may have pushed you both whoever this is or group of people to be in your own separate corners for now and it's best that way so that you can reflect you can understand what has went down okay for some of you you may have dealt with this um in the past but for some of you it's it's gonna happen this week okay it could differ from one virgo to another but the elephant here is the animal spirit of ancient wisdom it talks about maybe authority as well somebody who is like a leader of some sort maybe this is a boss maybe this is somebody older than you guys but they have connection to ancient wisdom as well so both of you understand one another on a spiritual level but the thing with the elephant over here um this is more of a speaker rather than a listener and with the zebra you guys are more listener than speaker because you're just observing things okay you don't want to over assume you're somebody who's just witnessing all this energies playing out, somebody's behavior and patterns, okay? Because your extra sensory perception are definitely on point. But over here, though, I kind of feel like this is more of a yang masculine energy wherein they, they boldly take action, they boldly say words. Um, oftentimes, it's more of like, act now, think later, or speak now, think later. It's only late for them to realize what they said, what they've done. But the whole energy behind the elephant is clearing any obstruction in the path maybe this person at this time at some point wanted to clear the obstacle that's standing between you and them they wanted to work things out but it seems like it's it's a very difficult situation to do okay both of you could be perceiving things quite differently not in the same page this person made an effort though but with the elephant over here, the thing is, I was saying earlier, they're more of a talker than a listener. Maybe you feel like you're not being listened. You're not being heard. Maybe you feel like your voice is the minority over here or that the relationship you are in, you don't have much voice. You're not being heard. Um, this person could be the dominant one. And it, maybe it comes with their experience, their age, their status, or the authority that they feel like they hold. So there's something about your elephant here and your camel which I kind of feel like oftentimes when they do get caught up with some heated discussion, they tend to say their mind or speak their mind. Then they distance themselves or pull away. Okay, their efforts could be a little bit short-lived, a little bit intense, but they pull back as soon as... I, I, could, I just kind of feel some intense energy here, some impatience as well with all the fire energy. So it's a very eruptive kind of, of energy from this person. They tend to lash out maybe, they tend to make an effort, but they tend to lose patience really, really fast. So with a the camel, they do pull back when they feel like they're about to drain themselves, okay? So with you over here though, with the zebra, it, it just feels like what matters to you right now is that you find balance in this situation, okay? You're finding balance in this situation. You're not about to do anything that is too extreme. While this person could have done something extreme though, they might have been the one who pulled back or have walked away for some of you this is related to work they might have been the one to do some drastic decisions and you feel like the more and more they execute these decisions the more and more like uh it's it's sort of like opening your heart opening your your mind here to who you really are dealing with it's not something that it sits right with you anymore that makes sense so now we have the dolphin card over here interesting 
The upside down triangle is the chemical symbol for water. This is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So with the zebra and dolphin energy over here, maybe you guys are realizing you're not happy in this situation anymore because of someone's behavior, someone's decision making. This just doesn't sit right with you anymore. So I was saying earlier about the brow chakra, the third eye opening up here. Along with the gifts of intuition and inspiration and the ability to access messages from spirit, allowing to um, understand someone. This also means that you are being drawn to or redirected by spirit to a safer place. And this is the dolphin card. It just seems like you manifested either an opportunity, either maybe an opportunity to escape the situation, packing your bags and leaving, heading towards that new, um, that new opportunity new cycle, new path. For some of you, you have managed to manifest a new soulmate. I honestly feel that because this this dolphin over here is a healer. They come in your life when you least expect it, but when you need it the most. Somebody that can inspire you, somebody that can help you, somebody that can provide you spiritual support as well. Maybe this is somebody who is opening your mind more to spirituality. Anything that you need to know about that topic, Okay, this is somebody that's feeding your soul right now with so much positivity. So you do have something and someone here at this time that is bringing you inspiration and happiness. So whoever or whatever you're dealing with, if they're pulling away here, if they refuse to listen, if they ref refuse to see it your way, um, I, I just kind of feel like they're just going to continue on this path because they have this energy where maybe they have little patience. Maybe this is the type of person that... They don't do so well with uh, sticking things through to see it, you know, yielding fruition. They're the type that says, well, if this is a path, a, an obstacle from my path, I just have to get rid of this. So they come and they go. This is kind of like the energy of somebody who I feel like they've been through a lot. And because of that, they begin to lose hope about standing up for what they believe in, standing up for what they want to happen. Rather, they give up easily because of convenience, okay? That's what I'm seeing with this cards over here. But you have the dolphin here though. So you have something good going on here, Virgo. This could be spiritual form or material form or even a new potential relationship for some of you. And this is allowing you now to shift your focus to something else, okay? To something else. Now, let's see the overall energy with this one, okay? We have the octopus. Interesting. Again, another water element over here. The upside down triangle. But the octopus is the animal spirit of something that is in the background, something hidden, or someone's ability to hide their true feelings or motivations here. Um, and ju I'm just really drawn to the colors over here. They all seem to be monotone colors, black, okay, except for, of course, the mind here of the octopus, really with colors, and the elephant flame over here, um, clearing the path or obstacle. So what I'm kind of getting from this card, this might be the person you're dealing with. But as an overall connection, they still have this pull towards you or they, they think that they have this false control over you, Virgo, because they seem to know that you're leaving as well, packing your bags and you have something new, someone new or a new opportunity, whatever case that may be. Because they did not stick around to listen to what you have to say and now words are not included on your end, you're just proving it with actions all of a sudden somebody wants to you know have a grip on you have their control over you um this is something that they're doing in the background in the shadows it's not something up front but again your intuitive abilities is already perceiving that you could be feeling like somebody's trying to control the outcome trying to control you from leaving or from ch from um, maybe somebody wants you to not to change your mind about leaving so with the octopus over here um just be careful because I sense a possessive energy. I sense a possessive energy and they're thinking about some plan, taking some, I don't know, st strategy, tactics over here just to get their tentacle around you, just to wrap you, okay, and, and just get control back, just to get control back, okay. So what's needed right now is some boundaries, okay, some boundaries. Also, the octopus when threatened, it tends to release a black ink and that black ink is very lethal. But if this octopus is not careful, it can backfire. You know, that's why I said this is somebody who's in the background right now because they know that if they do instigate an attack, a plan of some sort, it can backfire. 
it can definitely backfire. So if you feel like this person is pulling away, they might be coming in like the elephant with another approach, with flame, with fire. So if this is not a romantic interest though, because I feel like some of you, this is your romantic interest over here with the dolphin. You have so much fun and so much love in this energy over here. This could be somebody outside your circle who I don't want to say is feeling bitter, but they have some hidden motivation here for some reason. They want to maybe take what you have right now. Take away your happiness. Take away your peace of mind. Um, whatever this is, this could be a situation or a person. They're trying to create some drama over here whilst being away, whilst being distant. Whilst being distant. Um, and, and you feel like, like they couldn't just let it go. Because like the camel, going back to what I said earlier, they have this stamina. They Sorry just for that Virgo, but like I said earlier, they have this unbelievable stamina. They wouldn't stop until they get, you know, the outcome that they want. So be careful of some, maybe they, they're trying to set a trap here, trying to give you an offer. They feel like you can't refuse, but ultimately they just really want you or they want what you have. Okay. For some reason, I'm getting that. So protect your energy, protect your energy, go towards the calmer or safer place. Okay, don't put your guards down dealing with the situation because this is all happening in the background. This is somebody away. Could even be from another city, country, or state. But I sense that they still have some control in whatever is going on in your environment. Okay, so let's see. What is the challenge at this time for Virgo? We have here the buffalo. Very interesting. Okay, this is again earth energy. I feel like this is you. The challenge right now is to just really be enlightened spiritually, okay? Your guides and spirit is giving you a lot of download. Maybe a sense of urgency with the lightning. Okay, maybe even um, an, a sensory experience. Something in your third eye is opening up here. You could be getting a lot of headaches lately or just sleepless nights. But ultimately, something is opening here. Your third eye is opening up. Um, just maybe an indication that you need to protect yourself. There's something here that's not easily seen on the surface. Uh, and so use your intuition as a weapon. Use your intuition as a weapon. With the buffalo as well, this talks about being grateful. You may not have received the outcome that you want in this situation, but it's, it's exactly what you need. So take, for example, if this is a work situation, maybe somebody is grabbing the opportunity or wanting to get the upper hand. But you kind of realize, you know, it's useless trying to compete with somebody when there's situation being done under the table kind of deal. So instead of maybe going head on head with this person or people, just be grateful that you're no longer there in the situation because you're meant for something bigger and better. You're meant for something more authentic. If this is regarding relationship, maybe Virgo, you have the right people that you need right now. You still could be bothered by this person or situation but trust and believe okay that universe has your back and you should just rather focus on what needs to be done to protect your energy and just to keep on planning ahead okay of whatever this person might throw at you to keep you off balance okay that is the buffalo energy so what is the overall outcome for this situation we have the spider so, yeah, I'm really drawn to the webs over here. I mean, with the octopus as well. Like, somebody... There could be gossips, okay? There could be gossip. There could be things being said. Um, somebody could also be plotting something on social media. But the thing is... They're already causing half of the trouble here. By planning all of these things just to get you off balance or to get what it is that you have instead of maybe focusing on what they have. That is also the meaning of the buffalo. They may not have what you have here, Virgo, but they have what they need. So if they're only think if they're only seeing how blessed they are, I don't feel like they just they could continue on, you know, just plotting something against you here. Because that's what I'm seeing here with the octopus and spider. This is somebody who's creating a web, maybe a web of lies, web of excuse, or maybe whatever this is, in order to trap you, in order to trap you, to unarm you. It's a very manipulative energy that I'm picking up here just now, okay? 
and again they're in the background so if this resonates for you just really protect your energy right become really really aware that something or someone is threatening your emotional security but you will get through this using spirit spirit is your weapon here your intuition and somebody's helping you right now with the dolphin sooner or later you know this is not going to work whatever they're planning here since their purpose is toxic it's not going to be successful here okay it's not going to be successful so just be extra cautious and come prepared okay come prepared for some of you this might be a situation you need to leave in general and just not participate just choose your battles over here virgo okay whatever dynamics this is all right so let's get one more card we have the shark energy so all of this pointing out to somebody lurking in your environment might be somebody who's bitter about your success. Maybe somebody is trying to manipulate so they get what you have here. Um, so it's a threat to your security. So just be extra, extra cautious. The shark can also mean they're not going to stop until they get what they want. Okay. And they don't care about how others would feel, how this could come across to others. Sometimes they just don't care. This is somebody who's just focused on the goal, the prize. Okay. But something is about to be exposed. Either you or spirit or universe is going to make a way for this to be exposed. So that balance can be reestablished. Justice could be served. All right. So what I'm seeing with the shark as well. They know that they can't come near you. They know that they can't, can't come near you. But they're trying their very best to uh, inflict something here or instigate an attack of some sort okay so that's what i'm seeing virgo and look at the bottom of the deck the deer they're trying to spot you they're trying to target you for some reason maybe they want something to they want communication with you but they couldn't be direct or straightforward that's why they result to all of this um backdoor kind of tactics and strategy they couldn't be up front all right they couldn't be up front so we're gonna get an overall advice card for you my dear All right, here we go. We have courage. Courage. I'm going to read to you what it says in the booklet, okay? This is actually this very appropriate message for you right now because I feel like you need to armor yourself. Okay, it's going to be a battle. It's not so much as a physical battle, though. It's a spiritual battle. Okay, somebody's playing with your mind. Somebody's trying to get your focus out of what it is that you do best. Hold on, I'm just going to find. All right, here we go. So it says here, taking a risk. A man in armor holds a sword at his side, ready to enter a dark forest. This is a time of great personal strength for you. Whether you realize it or not, you're ready to take a risk and attempt a new adventure. If you've been thinking about taking a chance on something, now is the time to face it. Perhaps there's a challenge you'd like to meet or something you've been longing to express. It may be time to go public about an interest you've been pursuing, even if you feel hesitant at first. This card is telling you that the time is right. You are moving into an energetic cycle where you feel your strength more deeply. There is a core of power coming from your own eternal soul. And you can feel the boundless courage that always lies ready within your heart center. Breathe deeply and take the next step. Know that you can trust this core of inner strength to guide you in this exciting time. Okay, so you are about to step outside your comfort zone here, Virgo. That's why somebody could be trying to get that away from you. If this is not just a person, you know, it could be anything really. It could be a situation. This can even be your shadow side. You know, that part of you that doesn't want you to be happy or try something new. So please meditate on this message. Just let me know if it resonates. Okay, obviously this is a general reading. It may not resonate for all. So just take whatever resonates for you, okay? Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'm sending love and light and namaste.